Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use Squad App. So this will be for Android, iPhone, uh, all these like mobile devices you'll be able to download it on. So I'm going to take you through like the full process of how to do everything on the app. It's kind of like all encompassing video of how to do everything on the app. So first of all we're going to start right from the beginning. If you want to sign up for uh, the Squad app. You want to click sign up obviously once you've downloaded it on the App Store or Google Play Store, whatever uh, one you've got there. And you can either continue with Snapchat, so this is going to be logging in with your Snapchat account. So if you want to continue with Snapchat, click on that. Then it'll bring up this web page of Snapchat. Then you're going to want to type in your username or email for your Snapchat account that you want to use, then your password. Click login and then it will use your Snapchat account for this uh, squad app. But if you don't want to do that, you can click done and get to get out of there. And then you can continue with your phone number. So you click on that and then uh, make sure you do have the correct country code right here is all the ones you can use and then type in your phone number then you can go forward like that if you want to or if you've already got an account you can just log in and you see I've logged out continue with Snapchat or with your phone number so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, type in my phone number right here for this I'm obviously not going to show it on screen but I am typing it in right now because that's probably the easiest way of doing it uh, for this and just as a quick note as well you're going to want to make sure you do have access uh, to this uh, phone number uh, because uh, it's going to send you a code as you can see right here uh, and then the code is going to come up then you're going to want to click on that right there and then type in that code and then it will log you in so if you don't use your actual real phone number or just a phone number you have access to you won't be able to get in and use it so you will need to do that uh, so uh, the next step is that uh, it will stay snap a selfie or upload your own if you want to add a photo you can just click the add a photo and then it will go into your camera roll and then you'll be able to pick one but you don't actually need to you can click the skip for now on that if you want to so i'm going to go ahead and do that just to get to the next step then it's going to come up here there might be a problem for you here potentially you can't get through this step you want to know what to do so how you get through this is that you kind of have to pretend that you're going to uh, allow these things but you can actually cancel it etc if you want to so for instance if you uh, where it says uh, go on the contacts it won't just let you just click down at the bottom there you're going to want to like click on, uh, so like pretending you're going to give a contacts permission, but you don't actually have to. If you want to, you can just click settings, then give the contacts permission. But if you don't want to, or especially it'll actually pop up on screen, then it will say allow. But you can actually just cancel out of these uh, pop-ups, so just cancel it right there uh, for each of them. Uh, for instance, the notifications as well, you can just skip that instead of going to settings and doing it if you don't want to. But obviously with the mic and camera as well, you probably want that, hence why the... Um, because the kind of whole point of the app is to use the mic and camera, but you can actually do the same type of thing for that one if you want to as well. Because uh, if you don't want to use the mic and camera, you can actually go in and click done, and then it will uh, let you go and do it without it. And then you can go in the settings, then turn it on if you really do want to. But the next step here, it will say connect with friends uh, at school or work. So it will say verify your school or workplace email, and will help you find your squad. So if you do have a school or work email, do type in here. If it's kind of like being told you to do it, this is where you should, go, you should do it. But if you uh, are not part of that, you can just click skip in the top right hand corner if uh, you don't want to do this or you're not a part of that. Then uh, next it will um, bring up this is the, like, the home screen here uh, where you'll see this like your camera. I like, know it's just pointing to the screen for me uh, and pointing up to the ceiling. But uh, right here you'll see all these different options. I'm going to start off on the left hand side just to go through and show you all the different things you can do within the app. Uh, but you will need to have uh, the actual screen on to do everything within this. Even if it says that, uh, that you don't want to have the screen, it kind of will always be on. It's just one of them things with this app. Uh, that there's no like you can't actually turn to the on the front facing camera etc as well you can't just go from front facing to the back facing camera it doesn't let you right now as uh, so that isn't a thing on this screen right here but we're going to start off on the left hand side right here with a little bubble uh, with the three little dots in it so we're going to go there and go through all this uh, first of all it's like messaging someone uh, right in here then you're gonna uh, obviously already have this um this thing here with team uh, squad we should all be there it will tell you in this bit uh, if you only just signed up uh, that you can uh, like how to screen share and stuff so once you're actually in a call uh, you will then be able to click screen share uh, etc you can go through that once you're in a call uh, with this that's what i was saying in this message but i'll just click there last uh, time i tried to do it just like a test message just to have it just a messaging as any other app will but once you've uh, like sent a message it won't come up with a message again so also you can send uh, photos uh, down the bottom there, obviously with a camera on the bottom left, or you can just send uh, one from your camera roll with the one on the right there. 
if you want to for that. And then on the top right hand corner, the little pencil, we can start a new chat with someone that's like added you as a friend. You can only do it with friends in this little section here. So you'll type in your friend's name, etc. and you can chat. Start a new chat from there if one doesn't exist already. And then you can add friends, obviously, in the middle of the screen right here, just by clicking the add friends button. And then it will also like so tell you to um go to your like settings etc. If you want to add people from like your Snapchat potentially or like your uh, your phone in general your phone never you can do that there but you don't actually have to you can't get cancel on that if you don't want to uh, be doing that right there. So uh, now we're gonna go straight into the middle portion of this. So on the top right hand corner uh, right there. That's going to bring up your call history, so you can go through and uh, see what you've called, when you called them, etc. And then you can edit it and like delete the call history if you want to, you can clear it, etc. In the top right hand corner there, in the top left. Uh, so that's what you can do in that part. And then in the middle of the screen, right here, you can click uh, like plus when it, you're going to, on my friends, if you want to add them to like the squad call, etc. You can click that button there, then where you got your friends from, wherever it's from, wherever it's like Snapchat, phone, etc. You can click and add them right there if you want to. Or you can click that party line right there. And from in here, the top bit, uh, if you've already got rooms on the right hand side, uh, you can be able to rejoin them right here. This is all the rooms, like with, and uh, once you added your friends, etc., you can have a room there uh, of all of them if you want to. Or they got other rooms right here. You'll see all these random different people here. You can kind of join them. If you want to join them, you can like click on it. And then it will say like the party safety guidelines for all these different ones individually. So like treat everyone kindness, help each other, all these type of stuff. And you have to click agree and then you will join the group. So I'm going to go ahead and do this right now just for like an example. It's right here for a few seconds it will go in there. Then if you, uh, you got different types of options right here of what you want to do. Then you can go out of it just by clicking X on the top left hand corner. So that's how you like join someone's call right there. If you want to random people all around the world you can join if you want to, so uh, another thing, uh, we're going to go to the bottom right hand corner. Now, this is going to be like their profile slash settings page, so if anything you want to do within here. So, uh, first of all, at the top, you can click edit on like your profile picture. If you want to change that, you can click edit. Then you can uh, view current profile picture, upload a photo uh, uh, from your camera roll there, or you can just take a photo, or you can use your Snapchat Bitmoji as well. You need to link your Snapchat account. It should uh, be linked if you uh, have logged in with your Snapchat, but if not, uh, you want to use your like, phone number and Snapchat, you can do that together. If you click the Snapchat Bitmoji there, then your picture will turn to your Snapchat Bitmoji there. And then the top right hand corner, uh, you'll see add friends. So here's all the different things. You can also copy the link uh, to like, uh, get people to download the app and uh, join you, etc. You can also go for Snapchat, Instagram stories, Twitter, SMS, all these type of things. Uh, you can do there as well to add friends. From there, it's a bit more clearer there. It's best place to our friends, I think. And then you can also, uh, from here, go into the settings. Uh, so right there, you'll see the username. You, this is not where you uh, change the username in here. It's just going to show it. And then uh, potentially as well, you can come up with some other things there. And then uh, your mobile number uh, will say there if you can change it. But um, also the email verification is going to be there. So you can click on that. And then it, this is going to be the thing that popped up earlier. If you didn't do it there, you can do it here if you want to. And you can see the privacy policy, you can click on that, terms of service, my squad version, etc. That's going to be the updated version there. Then blocked users. So in here, if you have blocks anywhere, you can un unblock them within here. You have to do is click on them and just say unblock, etc. In this little part here. And you can send feedback as well. And this is also where you delete your account. If you want to delete it, just click on it. And then it will come up here saying uh, delete my account. And if you want to, just click on that and then it will delete it. Uh, but then also at the bottom there, the last thing is to log out. You can click on that, obviously, if you want to log out, and you can log back in pretty simply as well. You can also click Add Media. So uh, you can put in, like, your um, your photos, etc. here, etc. If you want to, you can also let people discover you by clicking that at the bottom there. Uh, if you want to there, and there's, like, a few other things, like the preview of how it's kind of, like, your profile is going to look, etc. will be here. You know, like, it's, like, your name, your age, and then, like, all, all the pictures, etc. If you want to, right there at the bottom. So uh, next is going to be like edit info. Here's going to be where you can change your names. So as you can see, your first name, your last name, your birthday. If you want to change, just click on them. Uh, change to what you want to. Then click save in the top right hand corner. If you want to do that there. So it's your birthday as well. You, you know your biography. Like you see your hometown, your current location, school, your university. You can kind of put that all in there with your information if you want to. 
and then you'll be able to see uh, your friends. You can click on my friends that are all up there and kind of like add them to a call, etc. If you want to, it's where you see your friend request. So if someone sent you a friend request, go to here, and then you'll be able to accept it. And then uh, next is going to be like the compliments. There's like another section there. You'll be able to see all the compliments you've got. And you can copy link like from here again to like kind of send it to someone if you want them to join squad up, etc. Same with Snapchat, Twitter, messages, and WhatsApp all here. You can go ahead and click them. And uh, go ahead and uh, do that and link it, etc. from there. So hopefully that did cover everything. If you do have any questions about anything else within Squad App, leave it in the comment section below. I'll try to answer all your questions. If you do want to know everything else, like in call, etc. I might do another video on this if you do want me to. Leave a like on the video. If you're going to go out and use the Squad App and you're using it now, potentially. Subscribe for more videos like this. Click on screen to see my how-to videos on other apps similar to this. But that's it for now. I'll see you on the next video.